Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome back to a new uh, sewing vlog. So um, today I am um, I was busy with uh, a new project. This is uh, not one of those um, rayon shali uh, dresses that uh, I was planning, although I did uh, decide on one that is going to be a pattern that is going to come soon on the market. But anyway, it's uh, about something else. I had, uh, I had, I have this piece of uh, jacquard or brocade from um, from Minerva. It's really cool. The colors are really, I don't know. I think they are different than what you see in the video. This is the back, but I'm going to use the front. And uh, I want to make with with this fabric. And I think it's going to be enough to make even a little uh, mini skirt, probably with some um, uh, lining in it. And for this one, I am going to make a burda pattern. And that's a pattern from uh, issue April uh, this year. And the problem is, I have immediately a problem as you as you, as you might know, that uh, of course this pattern, they showed it in the, um, in the magazine. Where is it now? 26. They showed it on the model that it's sitting down. And I think it's good that they're making this kind of uh, pictures too. But the problem is that they don't have uh, also another one where you can uh, see the model standing to have a really um, good idea of the fit is this one. You can see here the, um, here is the technical drawing. So it has some really nice details, the jacket. They also make it in a, in a jacquard. It's really, really cool. And of course this will make a really cool um, denim jacket. But I have it at the moment uh, planned with, uh, with this fabric. Uh, the problem, as I said, is that I, I, I cannot really see how long it is. So, of course, I had to make, to make a towel for it. It's, it was no discussion about it. Um, first of all, I am a little bit between sizes in uh, Burda. They, um, I used to be a 36. Now I am somewhere 30, uh, between 40 and 42. And usually I'm making the shoulders in 38 and then I go to 42 and, but now I decided to make a 40 for the shoulders and the upper back and then a 42 uh, from here down. So the armhole is also 42 because I know most of the time the arm, the sleeves are a little bit tight here uh, on the bicep in the last years, you know, I got a little bit uh, fluffier. So this is my towel. It's made uh, in uh, polyester. The color is not doubled. It's only uh, one layer of the color. You get an upper color and a lower color, under color. So this is the upper color. And um, of course, this one went really, really easy to get up. I have already some things pinned here. And as I expected, the shoulders, they're really long. So I am going to, as you can see here, I'm going to take um, I think 1.5 centimeters, I need to, me to measure this a little bit, but it will be around 1.5 centimeters from the shoulder length. I'm going to turn also with the back. As you can see, I have no gaping here, it's sitting nicely. But uh, so the shoulders are going to come in a little bit. Um, I'm going to make a sway back, as you can see here already. Can you see that? It's hanging in the back. I'm going to make a sway back adjustment. Uh, the sleeves, so the sleeves are also going to get um, cuff, which is uh, five centimeter wide. But as you can see here, I have the sleeves without any cuffs and they are, for my taste, too long already. So I'm going to shorter the sleeves by five centimeters. In a jacket like this, I really like them to have them almost short. <laughs> so I'm going to um, shorten the sleeves by uh, five centimeters. 
and the bodice is also getting a bend here four centimeters wide but I kind of like the length as it is so I'm just going to uh, this one is going to be fixed here of course the sway back but I'm going to shorten the bodice also by four centimeters so my finish length is going to be somewhere here I really like this length and something else I'm also going to raise my armhole I think I didn't decide yet but I think it's going to be 1.5 centimeters you know because if 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 the armhole is raised I also have better movement here I did keep this on for a little while and I did move around here and did some stuff and it feels okay and something else I'm also going to take I think from the side seams only maybe like one centimeter per total one centimeter here one centimeter here so half centimeter on both seams front and back to make it just a tiny bit tighter or maybe even more maybe one and a half centimeters and then blend to nothing up to the armhole and for the rest I think it's fitting nice here I have a discrepancy I don't know what happened um, the um, button band is getting cut in one piece with the facing and then you make a fold and then you turn the facing to the inside but I think I'm coming here to short a little bit of a seam allowance or something I noticed that when I was sewing that is not straight so I need to check again the um, pattern so as you can see only uh, good things when you are making a towel and if you know me and you follow me for a while you know that I'm a big fan for making towels and in a jacket I'll always make one and I don't know the only moment when I will probably skip a towel is if I make a designer stitch pattern just because I know my feet in designer stitch patterns and I can make the adjustments in advance and I'm almost sure that they are going to fit well but in uh, Burda I know that I need to make um, some adjustments so with a beautiful fabric like this it's always safe to make a towel um, yeah and um, Today I just, uh, because if this is going to fit nice, I really want to make also one in uh, denim and I uh, tested a few stitches on my, um, on my puff. They are really, really nice ones. They're really cool. I had a little bit of fun today. This one is really, really nice. I mean, and it's also very fast to make. I did save one uh, uh, jacket that I found on the internet ready to wear some really cool, de cool decorations only on some of the panels oh and this jacket is also getting some pockets here that they are here free almost to the almost they are coming to the seam and they are inserted in these panels here so a little bit of detail but yeah I think uh, if I'm happy with this fit I'm going to give a denim one also a try and I'm just going to put my microphone for a moment down. Sorry. And I want to take this out. I want to show you my most favorite uh, denim jacket at the, the last years. I don't know when I made this, maybe a few years back, two years. Maybe you remember this jacket. I'm wearing this so much since I made it. This is my Sorrento denim jacket and I wash it already a few times because it's getting dirty here with um, makeup and stuff. So uh, it's already washed a few times and as you can see I did some uh, uh, distressing at the time on the back too. But this one is a much looser fit so and as you can see this one is also finished. Well, I need to check the length because I, I like this length or maybe this one is just a little bit too long but uh, it's really cool I'm so happy with this jacket I wore it already so much and I took my time to make the inseams the inside of the the serger stitches for finishing the seams they were uh, the same color as the inside so they are also uh, a little bit uh, blending with the with the back of the fabric yeah I really love this one so this is it. I'm really excited about making this uh, this burda jacket in this cool fabric. It's going to get um, 
uh, denim, uh, denim, uh, this kind of uh, bottles. So it's going to be really, really cool. I hope. So tomorrow I hope I can uh, show you some uh, pro progress or anyway this week I want to, to have it done. Today is uh, Tuesday. Yes, maybe I with a little bit of luck I will have it um, finished by the end of the week or you know and work some other stuff in between. Uh, some other things to mention. No, that was it. So um, yeah, I see you uh, next time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of uh, videos. This one is already 10 minutes. It's already too long. Oh, I forgot my microphone. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, to uh, see you next time. Bye.